Harmonization in Europe will make a major contribution to financial integration. But to get there requires all the players. It is definitely a joint effort. And what I see is not just the commitment of public authorities at the European or national level, but also the commitment of market participants. It's 13 years since the Lampalusi report on the benefits of integrated markets, 12 years since the Giovannini report identified the major obstacles to getting there. More than 250 delegates from all the parties involved gathered in Frankfurt on the 19th of March 2013 to discuss progress so far and how to go further. The challenges we face are challenges for all of us, as President Draghi said. We all need to be participating in the action. Global and European regulators, legislators and industry don't wait only for the regulators and the legislators. Achieving the goal requires new legislation on a number of things, including central securities depositories, or CSDs. Harmonization should create a more efficient securities market with more competition. It's not easy, but it is worthwhile. The fact was that at the time of the Settlement FNID Directive, unfortunately, we have not been able to go beyond the minimum harmonization. And this has been enough to have a different jurisdiction interpreting differently and giving uh, uh, the origin to different uh, procedures. Everything changed, of course, with the arrival of the economic crisis, which forced all those involved to take stock. And to some extent, the crisis has provided the momentum to go to a much more single market for, uh, uh, for the post-trading environment. The availability of collateral is a major issue that post-trade harmonization seeks to address too. Experts say there's enough collateral to meet EU needs, but that in the existing silo-like system, its movements are restricted and inefficient. New legislation must correct that, and quickly. Collateral is probably like a bath towel. It can be warm and it can be soft. But it had better be there when you get out of the bath. Otherwise, you're going to be awfully exposed and awfully naked. I picture the new European model for security settlement as the result of three, three streams that are flowing in parallel and will ultimately merge into a single river, changing the surrounding landscape these three streams are T2S, post-trade harmonization, and the CSD regulation. The proposed CSD regulations and the corresponding implementing acts must be in place by the time T2S goes live in June 2015. When asked when they think it might be achieved, most delegates were optimistic. Delegates were also shown the latest T2S harmonization progress report, showing improvements in many areas, although there's still much work to be done. There is a big issue today in this conference. And you know what it is? It is the fact that we're all in favor of harmonization. Meaning that, of course, where you are an infrastructure, when you are a big uh, uh, international uh, uh, company, you have only interest to go for harmonization. It all requires political leadership, though, and that's not always been enough in evidence. Professor Alberto Giovannini cited the prisoner's dilemma. No one wants to move unless everybody moves at once, and no one wants to risk being first. You can only solve the prisoner's dilemma, and this is something I've already said in the past and I'll re repeat it now, with leadership from authorities. And that's the sense in which I think uh, the T2S strategy is a winning strategy. You can so, to what extent will the T2S harmonization actions have been completed by its launch? Again, delegates seemed hopeful. The key, I think, is for competitors to work together and embrace competition. Uh, and not to try and be the dominant player, but to interoperate with each other. And not to forget that the existence is because they are customers. Customers want simplicity. 
For all the benefits of a harmonised settlement system to be felt and to feed into Europe's economy, standards must be brought more closely into line. And that still meets some resistance from national laws, practices and ways of working. To me, for T2S, etc., to really work, we've, we've got to do more on, on sort of the corporate action type of harmonisation. This is really hard to do. The only people who can do this is some sort of regulatory construct. I think we have to view um, specifically T2S as an opportunity or maybe even an option on the part of each one of our clients to review how they're going to uh, access the European market because everything is going to change in 2016. In a global marketplace, change is not without risk. Europe has to be wary of other financial markets trying to poach its major players with favourable regulatory regimes of their own. I see regulatory arbitrage that some areas, don't want to put a specific ones, use it to make more business and also have competitive advantages. And then we start hopefully uh, to adjust ourselves. Here's a challenge for Europe is that if we get the, if T2S does the right thing in terms of the availability of capital, uh, linking these markets together and above all the investors that those markets represent, uh, we could become a very attractive place for some of these large corporates to think of as future domiciles. So how will the market look in 10 years time? Opinions vary. A market which has transformed itself into value-added provisions. For companies with the best value proposition, and, have a, and value proposition also means IT investment, best solution will survive in for 10 years, and we are gaining market shares. I would say it would be the application of, of smart technology, bringing in all the stakeholders to the marketplace effectively. That, that would be the thing, in, in, looking forward 10 years, that I'd be looking for. A genuine single market. Good luck. <laughs> Fortunately, as the delegates realised, Mr Howell was joking. And in any case, luck doesn't enter into it. What does is a firm commitment to action, not words. We've been discussing these problems of financial integration in the past 10, 15 years. What has happened in the rest of the world? Which financial markets have developed? If we keep on discussing these things in the next 10 years, I don't know where the rest of the world will be, and I don't know where we will be relative to the rest of the world. That's what we need to think about. And that's undoubtedly what the delegates at this conference were doing. They too want action, and quickly. From the Euro system's perspective, financial integration is of great importance. It is vital for the single monetary policy of the Euro area. The high attendance here suggests a commitment to achieving harmonisation on time and with the regulatory structures in place. Such commitment will be needed. Everyone needs to be involved in this process. Every contribution matters. Every action is relevant.